guys welcome back to part two so we are making our personalized roller blend and guys this is really really simple i want to just quickly tell you that the scents that we use the children and i chose we chose them specifically with andrew in mind and so the great thing about using these different essential oils is that you can tailor them to your liking the reason that we went with the ones that we did which is bergamot cedarwood grapefruit cinnamon and frankincense is simply because with essential oils and with fragrances they have three different notes which is your top your middle and your base notes all that simply means is that with the top notes it's going to give basically the first impression of the scent and so that tends to evaporate quickly so that's why you want to go with your middle note which is pretty much the heart of the fragrance and that's going to be your more prominent and your main uh, scent if you will so we went with the cinnamon as our main scent and then the top note would have been our citrusy ones which is the bergamot and grapefruit and then we went with a base note which actually mixes really well with the middle note and essentially what the base note does is that it actually combines with the heart of the fragrance really nicely and it basically creates like a long lasting uh, scent so even after the middle note has kind of died down um, after like a few hours then your base note you'll still smell that like really pretty much up until the next day so we went ahead with those um, five different fragrances and I would recommend guys that you shouldn't use more than five different essential oils when you're trying to combine um, different fragrances otherwise it gets too confusing and then you're not really gonna get the scent that you want but again play around with it um, you know choose scents that are um, ones that are like special or that speak to you and so these are the ones that we chose specifically and it turned out really nice guys and so you want to of course because essential oils are so potent you want to be sure to use a carrier oil there's so many different options I chose sweet almond oil and that's simply because it's rich in vitamins um, A, B and K and so it's just really nourishing for the skin and as I mentioned in the beginning of the last video the great thing is that with essential oils and roller blends you can apply them um, to the pressure points so that would be your temples it would be behind your ears it'd be the um, insides of your wrist and even the back of your neck and so those are really great places to apply them and I promise you guys they will last the scent will last all day and so you want to mix them very well the measurements really there's a math to it but just to simplify it I would say based on this size which is a 10 ml you want to make sure that you start with at least five to six drops of each and of course it does depend on how many essential oils that you use so i went with about five to eight because i'm heavy-handed <laughs> um and then you don't want to exceed obviously more than 30 right and so that gives you a pretty good sense so guys that is the first of the um the diys that we're doing for the gift basket and now we're moving on to the next so guys, for DIY number two, we are doing a herbal aftershave. And who does not like to feel a nice, freshly shaven face? And because it does actually soothe irritated skin, this aftershave is ideal because it, after obviously shaving, it leaves your skin severely dried out. This actually helps to rehydrate the skin and avoid any kind of like itching or prickly feelings and so it does help to also close the pores and that's why we're using the witch ha hazel in here um, in this ingredient because it helps to prevent dirt and bacteria from gathering and it also helps to prevent from breakouts such as razor burns or any kind of impurities really so this aftershave it's a very easy recipe i'll be sure to leave this in the description box as always and as mentioned it does soothe and hydrate inflamed skin and the best part is the scents that we had used are not only anti-fungal anti-inflammatory but they also help to soothe and hydrate and they also have a woodsy kind of musky scent and that helps to wake up and feel you know wake up the male in your life and have him feeling fresh and rejuvenated so again guys i hope you guys really enjoyed this video these are the um four ideas so from the last video with the two 
and then these two that's four ideas that we have for you this father's day and as always be sure to continue to look out for new content because we have a lot coming your way this summer and we're really excited to bring that information and content to you we have a lot of new subscribers and we just wanted to say hi thank you for the support for those of you that have been with us for all this time we thank you and appreciate you and don't forget to stay tuned and we hope that you guys are keeping safe as always thanks for watching don't forget to like comment and subscribe and if you've made it this far in the video, as promised, we do have a bonus. So stick around and we have a bonus feature that's coming right up. Bye, guys. Say